Solutions are part of our everyday life. In making juice for example, we add juice powder to water. The juice powder dissolves in the water, making juice drink a solution. In our kitchen, we can find solutions like vinegar, where acetic acid is combined with water. Do you know how chemists use the idea of concentration whenever they prepare chemical solutions? Let's find out here on Science 101. In chemistry, concentration is the measurement of the amount of solute that is dissolved in a given quantity of solvent. Concentration may be expressed in different ways, using percent by mass, which is the amount of solute in a given mass of solvent expressed as grams solute per 100 grams of solution, and percent by volume, which is the amount of solute in a given volume of solution expressed as grams solute per 100 milliliters of solution, and the percent composition by mass over volume, which is the amount of solute in mass over the volume of solution. Percent by mass is equal to the mass of the solute or solvent divided by the total mass of the solution, times 100. For example, what is the concentration in percent by mass of solvent and solute in a solution containing 20 grams of sodium chloride in 80 grams of water? To answer this, we are going to use GRESA. GRESA stands for Given, Required, Equation, Solution and Answer. The first step is to list down the given. Our given a mass of solute which is 20 grams ID sodium chloride and mass of solvent which is 80 grams of water. By adding our solute and solvent, we will have a total of 100 grams of solution. We are required to find the concentrations of the solute and solvent in percent by mass. Since the problem requires us to find percent by mass of solute and solvent, we are going to use these formulas. Percent by mass of solute is equal to the mass of solute over mass of solution times 100%. Percent by mass of solvent is equal to the mass of solvent over mass of solution times 100%. Let's find the percent by mass of solute first. Our solution will be percent by mass of solute is equal to mass of solute divided by the mass of solution times 100. By putting the given to our formula, we will have percent by mass of solute is equal to the 20 grams of sodium chloride divided by 100 grams of solution. Solving first the given on the parenthesis, 20 grams of sodium chloride divided by 100 grams of solution, resulting to 0.2. 0.2 times 100 is 20%. Therefore, sodium chloride is 20% of the entire solution. Next, let's find the percent by mass of solvent. Our solution will be percent by mass of solvent is equal to mass of solute divided by the mass of solution times 100. By putting the given to our formula, we will have percent by mass of solvent is equal to the 80 grams of water divided by 100 grams of solution. Solving first the given on the parenthesis, 80 grams of water divided by 100 grams of solution, resulting to 0 0.8. 0 0.8 times 100 is 80%. Therefore, water is 80% of the entire solution. Try to solve this on your own, and comment your answer on this video. 25 grams of salt, sodium chloride was dissolved in 200 grams water. What is the mass percent of salt, sodium chloride in the solution? Percent in solutions can also be expressed in volume when solute is a liquid. Percent by volume is equal to volume of solute or solvent over the total volume of solution times 100%. Let's say, a solution is prepared by dissolving 40 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide also known as agua oxygenada in water to make 2000 milliliters of solution. Let's identify the concentration of hydrogen peroxide solution. To answer this, we are going to use GRESA. Let's write down the given. 
The volume of solute is 40 ml and the volume of solution is 2000 ml. We are need to find the percentage by volume of our solute. Our equation will be Percent by volume of solute is equal to the volume of solute over volume of solution times 100%. Using the formula, substitute the values, and perform the operation. Percentage by volume is equal to 40 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide divided by 2000 milliliters of solution times 100%. The answer will be 2%. Wanna know more about science? Watch our videos and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel.